these guys just maybe they just really wanted a, uh, to do a cool murder bust. Yeah, like they're just cool. like. Was Here's our chance. Homie, homie was wearing his his gun holsters out. Yeah. I don't know if that's protocol, dude, but it, it, made, it made him look really cool. It looked really cool, though. It did. It looked like a movie. He's like, like poor Morgan. Where's the body? I don't so care. you might have heard of this one because it was kind of making its rounds. It's a pretty heavy story and very sad. Sorry that I happened to only find these. Can we skip it? Uh, yes, no, sad no. stories. Yeah, let's, let's skip it. Let's it. All right, skip it. Skip it. Let's see what's going on at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> Hopefully it's pandas. No. You know how no. when people like they go, oh, I don't watch the news because it makes me sad about how the the world is. Mm -hmm. I like the news because it reminds me how much better my life is and everyone else oh. sucks. Oh, oh, it's oh, like, oh, you oh, guys oh. get murder, you guy something. Yeah, my mean, life is fucking <laughs> sick, bro. <laughs> yeah, those dudes. people are dead. Yeah, so yeah. your life is pretty sick. <laughs> uh, this is a guy named Perez Jr. First name Perez. Perez Hilton? No, it's oh, not. <laughs> so there's a Perez Jr. and a Perez Sr., okay? Father and son. Perez Jr., he goes Perez over to the again. Fontana police to report that his dad, Perez Sr., has gone missing. <gasps> After his dad went to walk the dog and didn't come back, the dog came back without him. Oh, so right. Perez Jr. is super worried. Mountain lion. Yeah, yeah, mountain lion. Dad. Didn't, didn't yeah, eat the dog. Ate the full-size yeah, yeah. dad. <laughs> yeah, so uh, detectives, they went to search the home, and apparently they said they found blood stains. His father's wallet was still at home, oh. and his phone was still at home too. So oh. they assumed there was like foul play. So they brought a cadaver dog and they were saying the dog uh, was finding traces of possible human remains. Oh. Uh, so police at this point were convinced that Perez Jr. had murdered his father and he was just trying to like... Open shut case. Open shut case, yeah. So what they did is they put him in an interrogation room and they were trying to push a confession out. Where's the mountain lion? Exactly, where's the mountain lion? First question. Why did you <laughs> sick him on your dad? Um, and so they're doing this and they start really trying to push a confession. He's like, I no, I came here to report him missing. And they're just like, no, you killed them. And they start making up fake stories saying that we already found his body. He's in the morgue. Why don't you just confess? And they're like, kind of playing mind tricks with him. Yeah. And they even threatened him saying that like, your dog is gonna be euthanized as a stray. Uh, That's fucked up. If you don't like confess, cause they're gonna know, they're gonna think He's nobody like owns a dog. So they even brought the dog into the interrogation room that? so he could say goodbye to it. No. What? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if Fontana like, PD was gangster to, like that. You're gonna yeah. go to jail and your dog, so you say goodbye to your dog. Cause that it's gonna, yeah. sounds cool. So they did this to him for so long, the uh, Perez Jr. starts literally going insane in the interrogation room, starts pulling his hair out. Cause he's trying to tell them he didn't do it. And he starts pulling his hair out, rips his clothes. He starts hating himself. <laughs> And then uh, I guess he tried to take his own life. So because oh, of that, they shit. committed him to a psychiatric ward. Turns out his dad was not even dead. And Perez Jr. really didn't do anything. And he really was looking for his dad. His dad actually went to the airport uh, without his like stuff. And he was gonna go visit, I guess, his daughter. And then he didn't tell Perez Jr. because they had gotten into an argument. So they just weren't talking. And he punched him and there's blood and everywhere. And the dog just came home? I guess oh there was no like that blood. None of that. They didn't. Damn, have they fucked up. So the blood was just from another end. It was just some unrelated shit. Cutting carrots and he cut. That had a bloody nose. It was cutting carrots. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know? Did you read the article? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah cause so, onions make your eyes, but the carrots they fuck your nose up, dude. <laughs> they basically forced him to confess that he did kill his dad. Oh my god. Because of all the psychological torture. So wait, he actually, he actually confessed, confessed to it. He actually confessed in the interrogation room that he, he he's like, I guess I did do it. Then. So the Fontana oh, PD, they're like, we're really good at our jobs. <laughs> like, we're, we got a confession. Yeah. So now the dude's just crazy and in a psychiatric war. Well, he ended up getting out once they found the dad a few days later, wasn't even dead. Are they suing him? They hit him with a my bad? Yeah, my so bad. Perez, Imagine Perez his story Jr., to yeah. his dad, so you'll never believe this. <laughs> Yeah, Perez Jr. ended up suing the Fontana Police Department. The dad comes back and the mom's like, he's in jail for what? For killing you! <laughs> yeah, exactly. He ended up getting wild. awarded, uh, the verdict was uh, 900K. No! He nah, that, he needs way more than that. And lifetime supply of Lucky Charms. Oh, that's oh yeah, one. I think Lucky Charms, <laughs> yeah. But what if he's more of like a Cinnamon Toast Crunch guy? Doesn't matter, Lucky Charms is worth more, so he should just take yeah, it. That's him in the room. Damn. 
Oh, so these guys are they're just fucking with him the whole oh, time. Yeah, yeah, daddy's dead because of you. Daddy's dead. Hours of interrogation. That's fucked up. He's probably like, dude, my dad's dead, yo. Fire until he falsely confesses to murder. And now the city of Fontana oh. is paying up. Hey, Pam Harvey looks hella young. Hey, Pam. Question a man for 17 hours until he confessed to killing his father. That's a long fucking. That's why a lot of people don't want to go to the police. You go in for help, and then the, you become suspect number is one. Is that really hard to watch? Can you be in there for that long? Oh, dead dad, and you don't give a that detective is lying. Perez Sr. was not dead. But in this moment, Fontana detectives don't know where he is. Perez Jr. reported him missing after they had an argument. A search warrant was served at the family home. Perez Sr.'s wallet, cell phone, and even some blood stains were discovered. A canine also alerted to the odor of possible human remains. Detectives. Oh. The cops and the canine suck. They all need to be fired. Don't you think instead of interrogating somebody for 17 hours, you could just go look for the dad? Yeah, like look for more clues. Well, they're convinced he's dead. I think it was an open shut case. Yeah, they just convinced he's dead. Even without a body, bro? Yes, not only that, but poor Morgan here. Margo. 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 Sorry. Margo Sorry. had a witness. Yep. Yeah. I walked through the blood. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Even them talking about it seems like they're not like, dude, how fucked up, so yeah. fucked up. Damn, they sound like bad liars too. They do sound like bad liars, dude. Yeah, like, yeah but you know, uh, there's been a study with people that have lower IQ. They are the most susceptible to being convinced that they committed yeah. crimes. I think they convinced. And uh, like there's a lot of documentaries yeah. that kind of came out where like people in the past they admit to killing and doing all these things just because they want to get out of that. Yeah. Remember the making the murderer? Yeah, oh, Brendan yeah, Dassey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah. can I come watch WrestleMania though? And he's yeah. like, nope. And he goes, yeah, I killed her. <laughs> yeah, I killed her. Can I watch WrestleMania now? <laughs> I think that'd be me. Can I watch the UFC fight now? They need to like test it out by making him confess to crimes that didn't happen to see if he would still say he did it. He's like, yeah, totally. Like, I why that. use the thing that really happened? <laughs> yeah. That's what's crazy though is like people go in for help and then like they end up being treated like a criminal. Like my mom yeah. got, um, what's the word? Identity theft. Uh -huh. And then she had to basically call the banks and be like hey i didn't make these purchases and whatever yeah, yeah. they're like well back then i think you had to get like a police report and do all these things so she goes how do you do that she goes you have to go to the station and say that these things weren't charged or whatever yeah. and then so she went down and she goes like when i left she's like i felt that they just thought i was a crook and they didn't they were trying to fraud it. Like she was trying to pull fraud on Yeah, her. that she was trying to pull a fraud and then she just felt like uncomfortable. She goes, I never want to go through that ever again. And she goes, cops are supposed to make you feel like safe and protected. But then she's like, I mean, I get why law enforcement has to do it too, because they have to look at everybody as a suspect because there are frauds, because like there are people that kill their parent and then they call it in and say, oh, I don't know what happened. Somebody died, you know? <laughs> But like, yeah, that's true. Plus, if she's like the fifth Japanese lady that's come in I there, know. and the first four were frauds, I then know. yeah, that would suck. <laughs> that's just bad, that's just bad timing. Yeah, terrible yeah. timing. Are, I mean, are, do police get their funding from taxpayer money? Yeah, technically. Mm -hmm. So like, even in that situation, it's like, you sue them, the police station has to give up nine hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, but it's like that means the taxpayers of that city. Just are paying for exactly. dumbass detectives. Like we're always yeah. laughing at things like this where people go, yeah, he won money. It's like, dude, that doesn't hurt yeah. them. Yeah, yeah it you just us. paid for like, it. Yeah. It feels like those two detectives need to get demoted and then work like regular mm. security mall patrol to cover $900,000. Yeah. You know, know what yeah. I'm saying? If you're going to make a totally innocent sort of dude confess like that he killed his own dad when he's the one asking for help, that's yeah. insane. Like there has to be another like step in the protocol where we're like, yeah, let's just check uh, the airport. <laughs> See if he's there. Like, yeah, uh, check airport records. Yeah, or maybe a ring cam. <laughs> a ring cam? Some evidence. Some how, evidence. How about, how about you guys found, you guys found potential remains? How about we start digging a little bit? How about we see what's down there? Yeah. These guys, maybe they just really wanted a, a, to do a cool murder bust. Yeah, like they're just cool. like, Here's our chance. Homie, homie was wearing his his gun holsters out. Yeah. I don't know if that's protocol, dude, but it, it, made, it made him look really cool. It looked really cool, though. It did. It looked like a movie. It's like, it's like poor Morgan. Where's, where's the body? Oh, <laughs> this is what happens when it's bad cop, bad cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, no, there's no good cop, bad cop. I know, dude. Like, just make a deal with me, bud. So what if, let's say, we try to think about the other side. Mm -hmm. 
What if you walk into the house and the dad and the son have a really weird sense of humor? And for Father's Day, the son has a, I killed my dad father's card. And it's like in a frame. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then, the, for and okay. then there's like yeah. another picture of him like holding a gun and grabbing his dad's head. You know, it's, it's not just. What it looks like. <laughs> it's, like, it's not what it looks like at all. I really don't know where my dad is, but there's just 20 pictures <laughs> the of like, of like beheading. His email is like dad killer 69. <laughs> I hate my dad. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, dude. We don't gotta look anywhere, bro. We don't what the fuck is <laughs> going on. This dude is doing it. <laughs> Dad killer. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Man, yeah, I guess that could be bad, but they just suck at playing the game Mafia. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Uh, they should have came on JK Party, got some training. See? You it's because you guys stopped doing JK Party that this happened. That's true. You know how many cops we taught how to like catch a bad guy? I actually had that idea yeah, a couple of days ago. I was like, dude, if we bring JK Party Mafia back, we should do them with all cops. It's <laughs> like kind of like, you know, like like the Jubilee Project, yeah. but we all do it like that. Cops. But all cops yeah, and see if they're good at like actually sniffing bad guys out. You guys we'll just give that idea to Jubilee because we'll no never way. do it. <laughs> you guys really could be the fucked up Jubilee. <laughs> Like that's that's that the JK JK Party's new model should be the the demented Jubilee. That'd be great. Jubilee, kind of like how Jubilee. JK News yeah. is the fucked up next shark. Yeah. <laughs>